Hi, this is a, a quick video um, showing off the new KVM switch I bought. Um, this is GCM16. Uh, this is the, the latest generation. It's been branded by Lenovo as opposed to IBM. So C1754 D1X. Um, the unit itself is pretty much like all the other um, KVMs. So uh, it's got the usual um, VJ monitor, USBs, uh, 16 uh, RJ45 connections for the uh, specific cables and Ethernet, Ethernet ports. I'm not really going to show that in this video today. I just thought I'd uh, show you the user interface because there really doesn't seem to be much out there that just sort of shows that. But um, as you can see, this is uh, basically remote access to it. Uh, you can do it on the screen of the KVM. You can also do it remotely. So as you can see, you've got quite a few uh, features you can actually uh, draw down on. So um, if we just quickly work through them, you've got uh, things like appliance details, uh, the properties of it. So that gives you the um, some default things like its name, the location, so you can actually say which cabinet it's in or, or building. Um, it gives you the version numbers, so we'll just click on that. Um, I've updated it to the latest ones today. Uh, you've got your settings for Ethernet, so with this it has two ports and you can set the IP addresses for it. Um, I've got it set as static IP, um, just for testing purposes at the moment. DNS, um, I've now got that uh, connected to my pie hole. Um, NTP, so I've got that set to the UK uh, NTP server. SNMP, auditing, and then you, you've got uh, a list for the ports. I'm not going to go through those right now because it's not actually connected to any of my uh, adapters or servers yet. It's not quite in there. Um, but within these, you can uh, go in, you can actually see what options you've got. Um, you can auto upgrade, so the, the firmware actually on the uh, CO adapters will automatically update. But as you can see, those and those of options. Um, this particular model also has the ability to control um, AvaSent uh, power distribution units. So that's quite a nice little feature. So you can get some, some remote management going on there. User accounts, you can set it either to manually set them all up within the KVM or you can use LDAP to, uh, to set them up. So 